Evening, Professor. Hey, Miss Croft. Mm. Night. This one already. About Red Arrow or Terra? About Onyx, like two seconds ago. So you want us to believe that Vandal Savage's daughter would believe that we would believe that she'd ever in 50,000 years betray her father? <laughs> Hell would have to freeze over. Well, as a matter of fact, you might want to break out your mittens. Temporary cells A and B secured. Terra. You knew them both when you were a shadow. What do you think? Onyx had talent, but she wasn't bloodthirsty enough for Slade's tastes. He never thought she'd make the cut, which would explain why she might run. But Cassandra was always a true believer. Some walk away, but some definitely follow in dear old dad's footsteps. Icicle Jr. Cheshire. Yes. What is that expression? The falling apple does not bounce far from one's head? Um, yeah. No. If I learned anything from Clue Master, it's that no matter how hard it is to admit your dear old dad's one of the bad guys, sooner or later you have to walk away. You know what I'm talking about. I think you're conflating genetics with gravity, but yeah. As the tree is bent, so grows the twig. Sometimes the apple doesn't even fall. It just sits on the branch and turns rotten. Are we still talking about Cassandra and Onyx? Because all this apple stuff has made me very confused and kind of hungry. Both be moles. And he's a former mole, so he'd know. Ow! It's an old Cold War strategy. The bad guys send us two options and don't really care which one we trust. But wait, if they're both equally untrustworthy, doesn't that make them both equally trustworthy? True. Both could be legit, but the shadows got them to mistrust each other. Orphan, you were a shadow too. Should we trust Cassandra? Onyx. Jeez, kick them both loose and let the shadows sort them out. No. There's even a chance one of them or both is telling the truth. We have to protect her or them. You get the idea. Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. <laughs> 